Good evening everybody. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa GEG South Manila's COVID-19 Virtually Ready. Um, I am Adrian Lucruz and I am um, the GEG South Manila South Manila leader. Ayan, covering Paranaque, Las Piñas, and Muntinlupa. And for tonight, makakasama po natin ang uh, isa sa mga magagaling na teachers na kilala ko, math teacher, math and science teacher. Um, she's also she's also a core member of GEG South Manila. Um, also a Google Certified Educator Level 1 and Level 2. So for tonight, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay tungkol sa Google Slides. Ayan. So our theme for tonight would be tips and tricks on Google Slides. Ayan. So COVID-19 virtually ready, tips and tricks on Google Slides. Again, I'm Adrian Lucruz and ang kasama ko po tonight is Miss June Maog. Ayan. <laughs> Hi, good sir. Evening. Good, good evening, Miss June. Ayan. Maraming, maraming salamat sa pag-join and uh, for, co for, for co-hosting this event tonight. Ayan. Sir, it is my honor and pleasure. <laughs> maraming salamat po. Again, babatiin ko din po yung mga nanonood tonight. Maraming salamat po for watching. Um... Again po, if bago po kayo sa ating channel, you can review some of our previous events. You can watch them. Pwede nyo po mapanood yung mga uh, earlier webinars namin and some of our contents related to still distance learning and the G Suite for, edu for Education. Ayan. So, Miss June, ano po ba ang ating uh, handa for tonight? Uh, sir, for tonight, we will be giving them extra, I guess, tips mm -hmm. on how to use Google Slides, especially now that we're in the new normal, as they say. So this would be very helpful for for our teachers, especially when mm -hmm. conducting their distance learning classes. Yes, tama. And I think no, lahat ng mga teachers ngayon here in the Philippines are already preparing for distance learning uh, type of teaching, no? Kasi nga, yes, again, exactly, as of sir. the moment, we have, we, we, we can't um, conduct a face-to-face -face teaching, so lahat po tayo ngay ngayon ay kailangan matuto. Tama po? And then, Tama. And according, according to Miss Millet Espiritu, no, of SJA, we have to rapidly transition to mm -hmm to distance learning. Ayan. So, minention okay. natin. Ayan. Again po, yes. for, for those who are watching, magandang gabi po. If you have any questions, you can type it in sa comment sections and then later on, we will be answering them one by one. So, good evening everybody. Good evening EdTech and beyond. Maraming salamat po sa pag-support. Ayan. Miss June? Yes. Ayan. Okay. So let's start, everyone. Okay. Again, start. good evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's start. Um, the outline for our webinar tonight will be as follows. So the first would be, I would be, we would just be reviewing some design tips for beautiful presentations. This is actually from uh, a website that I'll be showing you later on. And then number two, suggested flow or format of your presentation. Number three, advantages of using slides. And at the end of my presentation, Sir Adrian would be uh, giving you more tips and tricks, as they say. And then number four, we will be using Bitmoji and other images to perk up uh, presentations. I'll be doing a demo on how you can create um, classroom scenes. And then the last, I would be showing you some sample classroom scenes with Bitmoji for different subject areas. Okay. So let's go. Uh, let's go to the first uh, outline, part of the outline, which is design tips for beautiful presentations. So those who are who have been using Google Slides, you might notice that um, the the heading or the title that's a that's a hyperlink. So if I click onto this, I will be going to the to the website where I got this. Okay. So the the author 
of the article is Katie French, and this was back in 2016. So we will just be going over this very fast. Number one, uh, skip the stock template. Uh, agree, ba, Sir Adrian? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you also skip the stock template? <laughs> Do you also skip? You use your own template, ano, Sir Adrian? Um, ako, meron ako mga templates na ginagawa okay. if I want to be more creative. But uh, yes. for, for some slides na, for example, for the others din naman who would want na may ready-made, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Tama. If you're running out of time, then just make yes. use of the template. If you have time, then unleash your creativity. Skip the stock mm -hmm. template and use your own, but keep it simple. Yes. Okay. The next, the next design tip: don't use more than six lines of text. Sometimes I'm guilty of this, especially if there's a lot of things that you need to to put on just one slide. But again, we need to remember this. Uh, as teachers, we, we shouldn't put too much information in one slide. The third one, pitch the bullet points. So what does this mean? Um, well, don't show everything. Um, don't show all topics, I guess, in one slide. Um, it's better to be presenting a topic one by one. Why? It's for better retention. Uh, that's what's uh, written in the article. And yes, I do agree with this. Ditch the bullet points. Ikaw, Sir Idian, do you agree? Yes. Ditch the bullet points. Oh, <laughs> yes. we, keep, we keep them excited with our yes. presentations and our yes. content. Exactly. Number four, use sans serif fonts. Um, what are sans serif fonts? Sans means without. So, ano ba yung uh, serif? Uh, fonts that have parang extra arte. <laughs> May mga extended lines and such. Um, it's better when you are presenting um, to make use of fonts without serif. Um, sans serif fonts are usually used in small print. So if your pre presentation is, of course, using big prints, then you have to use sans serif fonts. But again, uh, I have to say I'm guilty of not following this uh, tip um, sometimes. Especially if I if I have a favorite like a favorite font, <laughs> and then number five, size fonts appropriately. Um, we have been um, as teachers sometimes um, nagkakamali tayo uh, when it comes to sizing our fonts, and uh, mo most of the students complain that they can't see what's written, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we have to make sure that we size our fonts appropriately. How do we do this? Um, you practice your presentation and then go to the back of the room and check if you can see, if you can read uh, what's written on your slide. If you can read it easily, then that's the appropriate size. So, and just, just take note of this. I guess, um, ano ba, what's the, what's the most, uh, what's your, parang the, si the font size that you use most often when, when you present? Sir Adrian, what's your font size when you present? Um, ang font size ko usually when I present, um, definitely it's more than more than twelve. Siguro mga ano? Yes. Around eighteen, eighteen to mm. twenty-two. Depends. Yes. Uh, mga yes. Ganun. Exactly. Yes. Pero yeah. Uh, and it has, so a font size below eighteen is definitely definitely small. <laughs> Can't be seen. Okay, the next tip, maintain a strong contrast between text and background. So they shouldn't blend together. No, you should be able to distinguish the text from the background easily. No. Number seven, use no more than five colors. Um, sa, uh, some teachers uh, go overboard with colors. Kasi ang ganda nga naman when you look at something more colorful. But then again, um, we need to keep our slides simple. No, not not to make them too busy, or else uh, the attention would be <laughs> drawn away from the content. Okay. Yes, parang okay. ano rin yan, Miss, diba? Parang clothes. So when, yes. <laughs> when it comes to the color combination of our clothes, limit to three and below. Exactly, exactly. Uh. But some people can rock a lot of colors <laughs> in fashion, but definitely... Uh, when you're a teacher or when you're uh, in a business, uh, we, we shouldn't uh, use a lot of colors. Number eight, 
use contrasting text colors to draw attention. So if there are some text in your presentation that you need to highlight or you need your students to remember, then you draw attention by uh, making them bold or uh, changing the color from the rest of the text. And usually we just we use just one color to draw attention because again, we'll, uh, tip number seven, don't use more than five colors. Okay. The ninth tip, use single images. Um, a lot of times when we look for uh, images that are appropriate for our slide, um, marami tayong nagugustuhan. Di ba, sir? Uh, marami mm -hmm. talaga kasi. There are really a lot of images. Especially um, uh, images that you that are your own, like images that you've taken from your classroom. As much as possible, gusto mo pakita lahat eh. But again, we need to we need to remember that we need to use just single, siguro two, double, or yun na lang, not more than that. Mm -hmm. Number 10, use visuals to increase emotional appeal. So if there's something that you do you want to, um, siguro uh, the, the best way to, to know when to use visuals is if you ask yourself, you know, how will the students remember this more? If I say it or if I show it? So if the answer is, if I will show it, then use visuals. Like, for example, when you want uh, to tell them to save water, well, you don't just write on your slide, save water. You maybe get an image. You get an image na of a parang a drought-ridden place. No? Parang maatigang damdamin. No, yun, yun. That's the, that's the purpose of visuals. And then the last is freeze the transition. Um, yes, I understand maganda tignan pag uh, wow, flying in from the left and from the right, from up and down. But then again, uh, after a while, nakaka-dizzy nakaka na nakaka-lula. So uh, the best way is to just choose probably one transition, one type, and then stick to it or what na lang. Uh, don't use any. Yes, so, that's yeah, don't are, mm -hmm. Yeah, Miss June, no, nung, uh, I also remembered when I was also starting... Um, my career as an educator, gigil ako when it comes to transition. <laughs> Tama? Gigil when yes. it comes to putting uh, a lot of images, a lot of designs. So, yun, yes. keep it simple. Yes. Mm -mm. yes. I guess we've been guilty of most of this, if not all. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, now I'm going to give you a suggested format to make your presentation flow. Because, uh, well, I don't know if you think the same as me, but um, my presentation is similar to my lesson plan, right? So it's like uh, my lesson plan coming to life. So I have to think of uh, the best flow for my lessons. Hindi yung mema lang. Ay, ito, naalala ko, ilalagay ko dito. Ay, ito dito. Ako, ganon. So we have to think about uh, the flow, what comes first, what comes next, what should be last, etc., etc. So this is just my suggested format because this is what I've been doing for many years as a teacher. So I always started a cover slide and then um, I put the, the outline, the outline of the presentation, just like here in this webinar. And then I put the lesson objectives and I make sure that the uh, students um, know that these are the things that we, they need to learn at the end of the lesson. And then um, I proceed with the hope or a motivation. Uh, bahala na yung teacher ko ano yung maisip niya. But uh, this has to be um, the, this, the, what's this, the length of the hook the, uh, should just be enough so that it won't take the entire, the time of your entire lesson. And then you go on with the discussion and then inject a lot of formative assessments along the way. Um, as, uh, uh, formative assessments don't necessarily have to be at the end. It can be at the start of your lesson, it can be in the middle, at the end. So you inject a lot of uh, these in your discussion. And then, um, of course, there should be a generalization. And then after the generalization, it helps if you give um, a point of reflection for the students or something that will make, him, make them remember the, the, the lesson. And then last but not least, and uh, ito guilty rin ako because I don't always do this, is the citation of sources. Okay. Yan lang po. That's just my suggestion, of course. If you have um, another format that you follow, then that's well and good. 
Next, Mr. advantages of music. Yes, sir. Ayan. Mag-segue lang ako before we proceed okay. with the topic. Ano? Um, just uh-huh. for the, for our audience who would want to receive their certificates, um, we will be posting the details for the, for the um, certificates by tomorrow. So you have to go back to this YouTube um, episode, this episode, uh, para makapag-request kayo ng certificates. Now, for the mechanics to get the certificates, we will be um, flashing um, ano ba? five five letter yeah. word po. Uh, five, tama, five letter word. So that's the passcode for the, the certificate. Okay? So meron po tayong limang letters na ipa-flash for tonight. And the first letter would be letter E. Capital E. Okay? So okay. for those who would want to get certificates, this is the first letter, capital E. Abangan nyo po ang last four letters later. Ayan. Thanks, Miss June. Okay, sir. Thank you then. So let, let me now go to the advantages of using slides. Those who have been using slides know this. The first one is the flexibility and ease in sharing. What does this mean? There are more than one way to share your slides easily. And uh, um, what are those ways? Well, you can share uh, via email or you can just uh, share the link. Um, you can um, share your presentation via Google Classroom, etc., etc. So there's really flexibility and ease in sharing. Next, it's very too easy to insert YouTube videos because when you click on insert and then video, um, the, there's a, uh, what's this? A search bar that goes straight to, you, to YouTube and uh, helps you get the, the, the appropriate video that you would like to use for your presentation. Mm-hmm. Um, next, inserting images and others from the same tab. What does this mean? I don't have to create another tab in order to search for images that I want to insert into my presentation. I just need uh, need to click on the Explore tab. Later, we will go to that. Um, I just need to click on the Explore tab, and I can easily search the net for appropriate images. And uh, lastly, but again, um, this is just um, the advantages that I've listed. I'm sure there are more. I'm sure Ms. Azar Aiden knows more advantages. Um, the high degree of interactivity that's presented by slides to students. Um, right now, we're able to, uh, slides is able to present with Q&A. Um, Sir Adrian will be talking more about this mm-hmm. later on. And then also hyperlinks. So for this um, webinar, we, uh, I'll be actually um, giving you tips on using hyperlinks. And next. Okay, so some of you, I guess, are familiar with the, uh, What's this <laughs> with what you see here on the screen? Um, what, that's actually um, from an app called uh, Bitmoji. So um, public school teachers know about this because they've just had um, a series of seminars. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the seminars talked about uh, Bitmoji. So how do, you, how do you get an avatar, your own avatar? So if you notice on the screen, that's my avatar. Um, you can actually... Um, install or download the app download the app on your phone and then from your phone you can create your own avatar now you you uh, you can change the way the, the default avatar looks to, to make it look like you and then uh, once you're done with that you install the extension the google chrome extension to your laptop the bitmoji and then you'll be able to use a lot of images so uh, there's really a lot of images uh, maloloka po kayo pero sobrang dami and there are there's a there's an image appropriate to whatever it is you're doing mm-hmm. so what you see here is actually um well it looks more like a picture right <laughs> it looks like a picture but actually it's not just a picture it's um a series of images with hyperlinks what is this this is like an alternative way to present your lessons. No, that not the usual way that we we have often done, like um, texts, 
images, video, etc., etc. Mm-hmm. So in this uh, in this way, we're going to use hyperlinks. So what do I mean? So if you look at my avatar, you notice the um, the sound icon there. Kita nyo po. So if I if I click on it, there's actually a recording. Can you hear that? Sir Adrian, were you able to hear um, it? Sige po, volume up nyo pa po. Ay, sige. Alright. Ay, sorry. Volume. Ay, yan. Yeah, there's a very... Okay. Okay. So were you able to hear it? <laughs> I hope you were. But I was just saying, Hi, this is Mrs. June B. Maog. Yes, um, meron. Well, uh, meron. Meron. Mahina meron. lang pa na konti. Mahina. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so anyway, uh, it's my, it's, it's, it was me saying, welcome to our classroom. This is Mrs. Mrs. June B. Maog. You can call me Miss June for short. Yeah. Para maiba. So magugulat sila. Ah, there's a recorded uh, audio. Um, I, I think, Miss June, that's also one of the new updates of mm-hmm. Google Slides. Kasi sa mga nanonood po na gumagamit ng slides before, wala siyang uh, insert audio before. So now mm-hmm. there is a, there, it's a new update from Google. And then, ko alam naman po natin, si Google, from time to time, nag update sila ng features and they always listen mm-hmm. to the suggestions, most especially from the teachers. Ayan. So, mm-hmm. That's right. So, yung mga very uh, useful na features to engage more their students. Mm-hmm. That's right, sir. And then, so let's uh, explore more about this classroom. So you can, see, you, as you can see on the on the left, on, um, on the screen, you see there with this, <laughs> this is Sir Albert Einstein. Mm-hmm. So you um you might notice that. Well, let me see if I can click it. Well, if I click it, what happens? Mm-hmm. Um, there. you're directed. There. You are directed straight to the biography of Albert Einstein mm-hmm. uh, from the website of Encyclopedia Britannica. Okay, so that's um, stu- uh, students would just be browsing the article and then you can maybe just ask questions uh, later on. Okay, so let me just close that. Let's go back to the classroom. Adding and also- then this. Adding also, Miss June, sa ating, uh, sure. sa inyong, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, you yes sir, I can hear Ayan. you, yes sir. Ayan, adding also, Miss June, to what you yes, did, no? So, ang maganda rin with that, when you insert link, you also help, the, you also, um, you also, you can also create or come up with a modular type of presentation mm-hmm. wherein, um, if you want to maybe give give slide presentations good for one week for the students mm-hmm. para on their own they can already do a self-paced learning you can do that by inserting different links from different websites and uh, yes. the next letter is a uh, letter q for letter our q. second for the second letter ayan thanks miss june okay. thank you sir so again the the first letter was e and the second mm-hmm. is Q. Okay, mm-hmm. so again, um, going back to the classroom scene, if I go back and I look at the other illustration there, and I, if I click on it, I would be directed to what it is. It is actually uh, the golden ratio. Okay, illustration of the golden ratio. And then here, students will get to read what it is. And uh, well, the... The purpose of this is for, I would say, a Philippine word, para maantig ang kanilang curiosity, para they would, would want to learn more about the golden ratio. And uh, they will discover that in nature, um, the golden ratio is followed. So, yun, just additional. And then, what else? On the right side, so again, I forgot to I forgot to mention that you can use this particular classroom scene maybe at the start of school, at the start of classes, where you can well, say something about yourself. That, 
I'm a math teacher, so <laughs> I put Albert Einstein in the golden ratio there. And then um, I also put this very simple uh, classroom rules. Be kind, be patient, be positive, be a friend, be your best. Um, so you can you can just customize this according to, to what you want in your classroom. And I even included my cat here, you see at the, at the lower left. Um, and the, I took a picture of him and then just inserted the picture. Paano na wala yung background, Sir Adrian? Mm -hmm. Well, there's an app. There's an app that you can use so that you can remove the background. And uh, that app, eh, I mean, not an app, but uh, a site that you can go to. And that uh, is remove background. So let me just show you. Um, this is remove background. Yeah, so you have there you to go. type in remove, tama po na, remove yes, remove.bg. Remove.bg. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a file of the image that you want to remove the background of, you just click here, upload image, and then after a few seconds, the image will be back without the background, and then you can use it already. Okay, this is this is very useful, especially for those who are um, creating yung mga advisory in school. Nowadays, we see a lot of advisory, right, Sir Adrian? Mm -hmm. um, schools talking about their uh, learning modality and such. So they when they use images, they might need to use this, this site, remove.bg. Okay, let me go back to the presentation. Okay, so that's it. So you can add more to this. You can add much, much more because this is just like a simple uh, classroom. But uh, I'll be showing you next um, an actual um, lesson or an actual classroom scene that you can have in your math classes, specifically for grade 9. So let me go to that. Okay. So um, look at this screen. So... You can easily see what the topic is, and the topic is about solving quadratic equations. And then I put there um, a short instruction uh, for the students. Click on the objects to start learning. Okay, so what do I click on? Um, when I was doing this a while ago, I didn't put the, the what's this, the labels, but I guess it would, it's better, it's much better now with labels, so. Teachers, please, please take note of that. Sometimes you need to put labels. So if I click on method one, that will actually lead me to a YouTube video uh, explaining how to solve equations by, quadratic equations, sorry, by extracting square roots. i sorry. Sorry po. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And then... If I go to method two, that would go to the next method. Um, the next method is for those who are done with grade nine, you should know this. Uh, if you're a math teacher, you should know this. Method two is um, solving quadratic equations by factoring. Okay, so that leads you to the YouTube video explaining how to do this. Okay, and then if you go to if you go to method three, that would be solving quadratic equations by completing the square, and then uh, method four would be solving quadratic equations using the uh, uh, using the quadratic formula, and then there's an added here. Uh, if you see the the box on the lower right side that says new method and there's a flag of uh, Singapore right here um, because um, well let me show you that links you to the YouTube video of this uh, Singaporean he's a math teacher also and um, he will show you a new method for uh, solving quadratic equations that's easier so this this is um, you cannot uh, see this in, in any textbook yet because this is um, this is relatively new so um, it's also good uh, teachers to show this to your to your students no? to to encourage them or to to instill the love for math 
Okay. And then, um, and also here, um, I can also, I might also be able to click on it. So there, <laughs> that leads you to an explanation of what quadratic equations are, etc. Okay. And then here, um, one method is about factoring. And uh, I, am, I know math teachers here will all agree with me that uh, when it comes to uh, this method, um, you have to go back to a review of factoring methods. So you click on the book. And then that will just direct you to um, a text about how to, to factor there by grouping, etc., etc. Difference of cubes, sum of cubes, etc., etc. But again, we we don't need cubes because quadratic equations are tired. And then, um, what else? Uh, when everything else is done, when the student has watched everything. I guess it's time to practice, right, sir? Yes. Um, in, math, in math, it's very important that they get a lot of practice. So we just click on this, and it leads you to um, a website. And uh, this gives you, if you if you look at it, this gives you a lot of worksheets to solve. And what's good about this is that the answer keys are included. So after the students have practiced, then they, they, they can just look at the answer keys and check if their answers are correct. Okay. So that's it. So after um, your student has studied this um, classroom scene, clicked on everything, has practiced, et cetera, et cetera, then uh, maybe you can give a separate um, summative assessment via any, any mode that you like. No? Uh, preferably, I, I, one of the best um, assessment uh, assessment uh, apps that I've used is uh, Google Forms. Do you agree, Sir Adrian? Google Forms very useful talaga when it comes to exactly. data gathering, online quizzes, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. assessments. Yes. Yun, so that's it, but that's uh, that's basically a um, new way of presenting, like uh, like what. Uh, Sir Adrian has mentioned a while ago, it's a modular form, but mm -hmm. uh, um, it's a different kind. It's an interactive kind of module where you just click and such. No? You can see videos, you can you can read text, and uh, you can see images, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything is there. Okay, so now let me uh, just give you a, a, a short tutorial on how to do this. Okay, I hope you're ready. How is everyone? <laughs> I am. Everyone so, okay? um, for the for our audience, if you have any questions, you can just type in your questions uh, comment sections. And for our third letter, it's letter U. I am. Letter, so letter U. Okay. So if you have any again, if you have questions, um, type it in, and then we'll answer them one by one later. So yung ginawa din ni Miss June kanina no ang maganda rin is that we put all our um, reference materials resources in one slide or in one presentation in that way mm -hmm. um, um, this is one ano, one tip also when implementing distance learning um, this school year is that uh, you chunk your content so let's say if you discuss Kung face-to-face, -face, meron tayong 1 hour, 30 minutes na klase, syempre, in online, mas onti dapat. We wouldn't, we, hindi natin dapat i-equate to the same number of hours ang turo natin kapag tinalaslate yes. online. So, in this kind of uh, strategy, um, again, one, we, we can chunk our content. We make it concise as well. We put all other materials in one um, one medium or one platform. So in that way, students can go beyond or maybe can review kung medyo um, kailangan pang aralin mabuti. Ayan. So it would accommodate both um, um, advanced learners and those who would still want to review more. Ayan. Exactly, sir. Very mm -hmm. good. 
Okay, so now let me just uh, demonstrate to you very briefly how to create your very own uh, classroom scene. Um, well, I'm assuming that you already have your Bitmojis, but if you don't have, that's fine. You can just uh, create an account later on. So now I will start with the new slide, and I want to I want to have a blank one. So there, I start with a blank slide, and then um, the first thing that you need to do, um, well, if you watch uh, YouTube videos a lot, um, you will notice that there are, have been a lot of uh, YouTube tutorials about um, creating classroom scenes, and uh, well, the first thing that you need to do is to put. Um, a wall and a floor. So let's search for images. So again, um, like what I mentioned a while ago, you don't need to go create a new tab to look for images. You just need to click on Explore tab here on the lower right corner. Okay? And then you just type in what you want. So wall and floor. Um, images, I guess. You can type images. Okay, or you can just go to images, the images tab, and that will show you these. So you just pick what you want. Okay, so let's try to pick this. There. And it, it should automatically show on your, on your slides, and then you just need to resize. So let's just make it the same size as your slide by just... Uh, Dragging, dragging the, the, the sides, okay? Ang tawag dito, Sir Adrian, what do you call these things? Which one, Miss June? Sir, these things that you drag. What's the technical term for these things? Oh, uh, um, oh ano nga tawag? <laughs> anyway. So, I add, um, we, we can just resize it. Uh, oh, the way we, we so or we fill yeah. in the, mm -hmm. the blank we space. fill in the entire yes sabi nga po nila okay. um um also in choosing daw ang uh, wall and floor you can choose um something darker para the other mm -hmm. objects that you put especially your avatar or your bitmoji would pop up Ayan. So mm -hmm. we go to the medyo darker colors like brown, gray. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. And then the next thing that you need to do <laughs> is to, <laughs> of course, um, well, you have to put somewhere where you will write, uh, let's say, the, the topic or the lesson for the day. So it can be um, it can be a blackboard, it can be a whiteboard, it can be a TV screen, it can be a projector. No, so let's just use uh, a whiteboard and then you just add, you just need, you need to add the word transparent, okay? Transparent whiteboard, sorry. There you go. And then you just click and then you just choose from the, the choices that's given to you, okay? So if there's anything that you like, maybe this. This is nice. Then you just choose it. And then resize as needed. Uh, it's up to you what size it will be. It's up to you where you want to put it. Can be in the middle, can be on the left, can be on the right. So everything is entirely up to you. So once you have this, um, what's the next thing that you want to have on your, uh, on your classroom? Maybe you would want to have um, a poster, a poster for classroom rules, maybe. So, transparent, let's say just poster for rules or whatever, however way you search is fine. Okay, and then you just look if there's a uh, Okay, so I uh, put this poster on social distancing. Okay, there you go. And then you just make it smaller and then maybe put it uh, on the right side. There you go. Uh, to make it look like it's um, a poster, 
then you can maybe just add the frame like a heavier one and then maybe you can change the color of the frame um white perhaps i uh, know not white um something like that okay there you go so it's up to you it's up to your creativity and then um maybe you'd like to add like a well a window perhaps so again you search for the window with the word transparent so transparent window okay then just pick the window that you want a simple one this is fine and then again you resize so you always just need to resize uh, appropriately and of course if there's a window you shouldn't you shouldn't see the the wall right so you should see the, you oh. should see the outside you should see the outside world so you you also have to look so let's say transparent um garden try not in garden then you just pick so let's say i want to i want to see this when i look out the window okay then you can put that and then resize accordingly move it to your window there and of course um it has to be like uh, uh, at the back of the window so what do you do you just right click on it and then order and uh send backward there so what happened the nature scene was sent i what happened ah because it's transparent sorry yeah, uh, transparent. my bad my bad yes so if it's uh like a a scene from outside skip maybe we can just skip the transparent uh mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. so garden along garden there you go then i just delete this there you go and then this one looks nice okay then again just resize oh it's a painting <laughs> uh, anyway let's just resize it accordingly i don't really like to to parang destroy the proportions or Adrian, but uh, okay lang when it comes to this. Yeah, uh, pwede naman din i-crop. Um, yes. Pwede nyo i-crop yung mga photos niyo. Yes. So let's do that. Yes. Uh, so let's crop kasi sumobra siya sa frame ng window. So we can just move, crop. Alright. There you go. Oops. The, the window is the one that's cropping. So let me just undo the back first. And then I crop this. So maganda rin dito na lumalabas din yung artistry ng teachers. Yes. Exactly. Uh -oh. Um if sure. if um talaga no, this one if if artistic ang teacher, it's also uh kind of therapeutic for yes. the teacher. <laughs> I agree. Um, <laughs> Uh, kasi you get to customize your your slide na assuming that uh, it's our virtual classroom. So we also let our students feel that even though they're not in their physical classrooms, they still have something to see even if it's exactly. a, um, a virtual classroom or a exactly. virtual one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga sir, ang saya gamitin ng Bitmoji kasi parang you're also with them as they learn. So yun. Uh, <laughs> And then vice versa, vice versa for the students, you can also teach them how to create their bitmojis exactly. as, as one, oh, okay. one part of activity. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then maybe they can come up their own virtual uh, um, slides now where yes. they are in their classroom. Yes, sir. You can so actually take a, mm -hmm. a class picture, right, sir, with all yeah. of your avatars in there. That would mm -hmm. be nice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Next. Next, we're gonna do it. Of course, there has to be something written here. It's supposed to be your topic, so you just click on Insert Text Box, and then uh, let's put our topic to be social distancing. 
Okay. Then you just change the font according to what you like. Um, this I like this font because it's like a handwriting font. And then uh, just change the size. And then maybe put it in the middle. Okay, so that's your, your lesson for the day. Okay? And then what else? You can just add whatever it is that you want. And then if you want to put like um, hyperlinks like what we did, so you just click on whatever image. It can be, you can put hyperlinks on images, on text, um, there. So here we put the hyperlink on this. But before, the, before I do that, um, well, let's explore again. Let's look for something to read about social distancing on the web, not images this time. So let's say, um, well, I want to use this. Um, the first one, let's just pick the first one. Right click on it and then go to copy link address. Okay, once you've done that, go back to your image, click on insert, link. And then just remove whatever is there. That's the link for the image, actually. And then just remove that and paste the link that you got. And then click Apply. Okay? Once that is done, when you present it, so then we just present it. Um, and then when I click on the, the image, that will direct me to uh, the website that I've chosen. There you go. Okay, so that's it. I guess you get it by now. Um, the next that we need to do is to add our the next thing that we need to do is to just add our Bitmoji. Okay, so I just click on my <laughs> Bitmoji icon. So to look for Bitmojis that are standing you you need to search pose p-o-s-e okay. so there so you have several um choices so let's choose this one and i can just uh, click and drag it okay so there your bitmoji is there and then um if you want to add audio, like what I showed you a while ago, you just go to um, this website, online-voice-recorder.com. And then that's able to record uh, anything that you want to record for your, for your students, short clips or even longer ones. Okay, or for English teachers, if you want to record yourself reading text, then this would be really good. So you just click on this, and then you speak, and then after a while, it will prompt you to to save. Um, it well, it will let it will let you uh, hear the recording, and then if you're satisfied with it, then that's it. So let's try it, Sir Adrian. So I click sure. the button. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Yeah, so that's uh, the record. And then I can just play it again. Okay, so if you're satisfied with that, you just click on save. Um, and then it will automatically go to your hard drive. So downloads, so downloads folder. Okay, there on the you can see it on the on the bottom left, and then once it's uh, with you, you just need to you just need to store that uh, Google Drive more, and then that's uh, how you'll be able to to get the recording. Okay, so let me get go back to the presentation. So let me just show you how that's done. So insert, and this time we insert the audio. Okay, and then as you notice, it went to my Google Drive, and then I will just choose. Okay, select. Let's say that's the one that I've chosen. And then um, this icon will appear, and what I do is I just drag it to my 
avatar uh, so that my students will know that it's me speaking there. And that's it. So you can just add additional details to your classroom scene, mm -hmm. however, uh, or whatever it is that you want to show. Yon. So this is applicable for, uh, for all subjects, not just for math. And uh, I want to show you some other, some other examples. Yeah. Before that, um, is there anything you want to say, Sir Adrian, before I show the example so, and for, so other, for other for subjects? Our, um, for our uh, fourth letter, so it's letter I. Letter I. Okay. Oh, nice. Le nice letter I. Okay, and then... <laughs> So let me go to the next. So here, so this is the, again, what we have created. And again, you can just add whatever you want to add on it. You can put hyperlinks on all the images that you've added. That would be really good. That would prevent, an, uh, that would uh, present your students with uh, an interactive module. Uh, that's really enjoyable for them. Okay, so Look at this. Look at this classroom scene. And uh, can you tell me what subject uh, this is? Or what subject? Newton's loss of motion. <laughs> so, Adrian, may sumasagot ba? Ako po ba? Ay, ko. Adrian, may sumasagot ba? What the na? Uh, Sir, Adrian? <laughs> um, baka mali, ano, natakot ako. Physics. <laughs> It's a physics class. Very good. It's a physics class. Thank you. Expert kasi si Sir Adrian sa bio. Okay. Hindi ako expert sa bio. Hindi rin maka-expert sa physics. But I've taught physics for a number of years before. So yun. So this is how... Ang nagandahan ako dito. This is how I want to present. Just very simple. Newton's laws of motion. Uh, motion. If you look at the the lower right side, what do you see, Sir Adrian? Um, lower right, you have uh, an apple. An apple. Uh, Anong connection ng apple? Tama yan, Sir. Okay. Anong connection ng apple dyan? Ano kaya? So yun, mag-iisip yung mga bata. Bakit apple? Bakit nasa floor? Wala sa table. <laughs> no, things like that. And then you can maybe go... Um, lead the discussion to how Newton discovered <laughs> discovered gravity, as they say, no, and the the significance of apples to Newtons. No, it's like a hook, and then you go you go to the discussion of Newton's laws of motion one by one. So you can just insert hyperlinks here. No, when students click the first law, um, maybe a video will pop out or maybe a text no, uh, about it, and so on. You can add uh, whatever else you want. So again, this is a physics classroom. Next, about this, Sir Adrian, this classroom is for what subject? This one, uh, logical fallacies. <laughs> I'm not putting ito? you on the spot. I'm just asking <laughs> you. What is this? What is subject? Um, uh, May nakahula. Basta mga nanonood po, ano pong subject to? O baka ako mali. <laughs> what subject po kaya to? English? Sabi po English. ni Moodyfyer. Ayan, English. Ni Moodyfyer. Ang galing naman ni Moodyfyer kung sino man. <laughs> or <laughs> sino man comprehension. Siya. Ayan. English? <laughs> yes, English. Very good. So this is it's actually one of my favorite lessons in English, kaya yan nilagay ko. So, logical fallacy. So, the teacher can just design the classroom this way and then, yes, include hyperlinks. Dapat. And then, um, ito may hyperlink na to. This is a YouTube video that discusses logical fallacies. If, you, mm -hmm. if the student clicks on this, it will direct uh, the student to, to that video. And then, um, this one, maganda to the the teacher can just um, create a hyperlink leading to parang several, let's say, speeches or articles or um, whatever, lalo sa mga, ano, um, 
sa election, election time. Ang daming sinasabing mga fallacies kasi doon eh. <laughs> so, students, um, the, the teacher can assess if the students understood logical fallacies by letting them read uh, those uh, speeches and then maybe critique, critique based on mm-hmm. what they have learned about logical fallacies. Ayan. And then ito, the, um, I like this. I like this poster. It says, be careful with your words. Once they are set, they can be only forgiven, not forgotten. Ayan. So parang it has a connection to, to the topic logical fallacies. Ayan. English. Okay, let's go to the next. Ito, very obvious. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Filipino. <Ayan>. Very good. <laughs> this is uh, obviously Filipino. a Filipino class. Ayan. Ang topic nila ay Noli Metanghere. Okay? And then, of course... Um, very modern yung itsura. So, uh, let's make it more Filipino. So, I just uh, I just put there um, a flag. Pero para maiba naman na hindi yung usual uh, Philippine flag. And as a thumbprint, no, ibig sabihin, Filipinos are unique. No? Like a thumbprint. Yun. And then you have here the bust of uh, Dr. Jose Rizal, our national hero. And then... Um, here you have a quill and ink, siguro, um, just to pertain to his uh, how he um, how he wrote Noli Metangere, and then here the the Filipino teacher can just create hyperlinks uh, to each kabanata. Okay, um, for Filipino for Filipino teachers, konti lang yung resources, no sir Adrian. So oh. <laughs> most of the time they create their own. They create their own. So pero okay lang. So yung yung mga kabanata, eh, they, they, maybe they can just create um, PDF versions of it, no? And then just uh, create hyperlinks. So maganda yung buong nole metang here na sa isang slide lang. So it's a very good um, parang interactive uh, module for for the students. Okay. We also have and, to emphasize the uh, Miss Juna, no. Um, usually, when it comes to integrating technology with our subjects, um, mm-hmm. sometimes other subject teachers would say, na, ah, this is not for me because I'm teaching Filipino. It's not related to mm-hmm. technology. Or sometimes, pang computer teachers lang yan. But actually, yes. all of these strategies are all um, applicable to all types of subjects, kahit, uh, kahit Filipino yan or uh, PE. Uh, when yes. it comes to the resources naman, totoo po yun na ang resources natin sa Filipino at uh, let's say, araling panlipunan ay mas konti kumpara po sa mm-hmm. mga subjects na like English or science. But uh, yes. ang lagi ko sinasabi dito, kapag wala kayong makitang apps or programs na tumbok na tumbok dun sa subject, daanin natin sa strategy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, ang lesson. So, kung walang um, specific content um, na application, daanin natin sa, let's say, writing, technical mm-hmm. writing, daanin natin sa skill. So, yun mm-hmm. yung mga pwede natin gawing alternative. And then the other one, if you want to be more extra, let's say, meron kayong mga videos, pwede rin as a teacher, um, yes. you can also come up with your own content. You can mm-hmm. take a, a video of yourself, or if you want a, um, a video lecture, pwede yun ang mm-hmm. ilagay ninyo sa inyong slide, sa TV. Ayan. Exactly. exactly. Mm-hmm. Tama yun, sir. Diba ilang beses ko na kinakwento sa'yo na dream ko yan eh. Dream ko na magkaroon ng mga video tutorial. So, uh-huh. I guess <laughs> this school year, I will have the chance to do that. Kasi lalo na ngayon, parang no choice. Kailangan mong gawin. Mm-hmm. So, True. medyo na-excite ako doon. Medyo. So, yun. Let me now show you the last. So, ito po kaya. Anong subject ito? May sumasagot ba, sir? <laughs> nakikinig pa kaya sila? <laughs> yes, nakikinig sila. Actually, kanina maraming sumagot. Like, uh, logic daw oh. ang kase at philosophy. Oh, very good, very good. Mm-hmm. So again, ito, this is actually for, pwede na tong, actually for all, for all 
grade levels, no, we we need to talk about uh, what's happening to us now. Uh, mm-hmm. But but to be specific, you know, this is actually sa AP, no, social studies. Um, uh, but the subject contemporary issues, this is I guess for um, senior high. I'm not sure. I asked my daughter and she said, she, I asked her to give me a topic and she said contemporary issue. So, yun. Contemporary issue, COVID-19 pandemic. And then, um, you can just add hyperlinks to, to each one of these and then that's it. Now, of course, if you're an, if, it, if you're talking about issues, dapat you, or you have a map there, the, the world map or maybe the globe. You know, parang ano lang, extra, extra uh, elements in your classroom scene. And it would be better if uh, you you create a hyperlink uh, on this. And then ito, have you heard this, uh, Sir Adrian? Mm-hmm. Ito, there's like a meme na ganito, di ba? Yung, by the year 2020, we thought we would have flying cars. But no, here we are teaching people how to wash their hands. <laughs> Yun, that's a uh, parang ano, sikat na meme siya ngayon na parang nakakalungkot in a way kung iisipin, pero... Yun na, yun yun, that's it. Yun, so there yun, these are, yun lang, yun, these, these are the classroom scenes that I have prepared for uh, some subjects. And uh, again, as what um, Sir Adrian said a while ago, um, you can use this for any subject, any. Music, arts, PE, health, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever subject you're handling. Okay, yun lang, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And then also, I I like to show you the references, pala. So, um, the design tips I got it from this site, and then um, uh, what um, Sir Adrian also recommended to me this uh, the second article from Mr. Alex Reyes, Google Slide presentations for distance learning, and then I'd also like to thank um these two particular YouTube channels that I subscribe to, which is a uh, um the one. Uh, by Thomas Blakemore and Easy at Tech because this is where I basically got the idea for uh, classroom scenes using Bitmoji. And then I'd also like to thank um, the DevEd EduTech unit webinars because this is also, uh, this is where I got the idea for for uh, recording audio and then um, uh, Bitmoji as well. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. I am. <laughs> so, um let's try to check the comment section um again we'd like to thank everybody who watched this webinar maraming salamat i would also like to um greet i am mr um um sir noel pabalan is here Oh, wow, um, hi, sir. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Sir Noel is here watching. Um, sir Joel Castillo, he's wow. here. Wow, ang mga um, boy. <laughs> yes, and dito po. Uh, Miss Wrench is also here. Oh, I miss him. Good evening. <laughs> um, ayan. Alexis Sangil, thank you very hi, much Ms. for watching. <laughs> Ayan. Ay, si Miss Chiki po ito. Si Miss ah, Chiki. Oh, Hi, Miss Chiki. Hello po. Ayan. Miss Chiki, hello po. Good evening. Uh, Mr. J.B. Lopez. Ayan. Oh, kapatid ko yan. Ayan. <laughs> hello, Ayan. sister. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for watching and participating. And then we also have from the GEG community. So, wow. Michael, Sir Michael Abelio from GEG Mandawe. Maraming salamat po for... Thank you, for sir. For watching, for listening, even uh, earlier, Mr. Sister Gary Garcia, um, EdTech and Beyond, thank you very much. Um, thank you, Sir Margo, Gary. Margo, Margo the Beyond. Beyond, thank you very much. John Paul Lario, uh, uh, Shock Jockey, um, ayan. Mary Ann Zaragoza, maraming salamat. Askia Gonzalez. Thank you, Askia. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Max, um, Rosalie, Cornelia. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanunood um, sa mga nandito. Ayan. Um, Thank you very for much. For our last letter, ayan, our last letter to get the certificate, 
So it's letter P. So we have five letters. Kayo na po bahala mag-discover ng apat. You may review the video um, to, to check all the letters. Again, um, the, the link to the certificate will be posted tomorrow. Ayan. So wag po kalimutan just to go back to um, this video. So you, if you like our content, this webinar, and for future webinars and for future videos, you can just click the like and subscribe button to be updated on our next videos. Um, sige po, let's proceed. May mga natitira pa po ba tayong slides? Meron pa, sir. Meron pa. Ayan, so meron din akong pinrepair. No? No? So yan, if you can be very creative when it comes to um, creating your, your slides or your, your slide presentations. But uh, the key here, lalo na ngayong distance learning, um, ano ba tamang word? Era. We're already mm -hmm. transitioning in a new um, new ways of uh, mm -hmm. teaching. So yes. we have to, this time, uh, we have to be prepared. Talagang ano, when it comes to doing this kind of um, slides or strategy, it, ay yung materials na kinecreate mo for the students. Because here, mm -hmm. you can be very detailed, but once all your materials are prepared, or siguro um, umulit na yung school year, mas madali na lang for everybody. Mm -hmm. But you know, right mm -hmm. now, I think we're all on the same ano, no, situation na lahat yes. tayo are, ano bang tamang term, forced to jump into this? <laughs> ano bang tamang term? Uh -oh, yeah. um, sorry for the lack of mm -hmm. <laughs> Tama na yun, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yun talaga po eh. I, 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 I know we're not experts on this, ano? Lahat tayo kinakabahan. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're yes. also here. We're also here to show um, best practices to help our teachers who would want to learn mm -hmm. more and want to explore. So, eto naman yes. po ay, ano, wag po tayong matakot um, sa mga gantong teknolohiya. Sabay-sabay po natin itong matututunan. And even with our mm -hmm. students, let's not also be scared and address the fact that our students are, ano, are Generation Zs, which are yes. really, ano, the technology, it's very natural to them. Sometimes, they would also help us when it comes to this. But, uh, yes. oh, oh, yun po talaga, talagang kailangan lang po natin, ano, sa gantong bagong pamamaraan, we just have to practice, 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 para kapag yes. by August or July na sumalang na tayo sa harap ng students, medyo mas confident na tayo. But anyway, it would be, um, kumbaga, the more we do it, uh, the more we practice it with our colleagues at first, mas magiging natural din po ito. It might be awkward in the beginning, but uh, yes. <laughs> it, it, it might be very awkward and nakakahiya, but uh, uh -huh. talagang ano, believe me, ano siya, napapractice siya. Na, nahahasak siya. Sa umpisa siya. lang, na sir? Sa, sa umpisa, umpisa na lang. Yes. Nakakakaba yes. talaga. <laughs> uh -huh. And then, uh, there's some messages from other teachers. Ayan. Um, thank you for shout out first time. Mary Angel Ogosa, maraming salamat. Um, oh. no, Sir Noel Papalan, okay lang with your insights. Thank you. Maraming salamat, uh, Sir Noel, for always thank supporting you, us. Ayan. Thank you very much. Yes. Is it possible to share your slides or copyrighted? Ayan. One question from Sir Noel. Is it possible to share your slides or copyrighted? Copyright. Is it possible to share slides or copyright it? It's possible to share, but I don't know about the copyright part, sir. Mm. Ako naman, ang take ko naman dyan, yes, you can share your slides, but make sure it's can view only so that the students cannot, mm. will not, um, rearrange, will not rearrange your, your, your setup. Uh -huh. That's one. Uh -huh. Or you can... Uh, ask them to make a copy of their own 
So kung gusto nyo pa maglagay ng mga activities for the students, like there's an, maybe you can come up with um, one portion of the page would be, um, let's say, diary. Parang ganun. You get their insights, ganun. So that it also becomes a workbook slash workbook mm -hmm. for the students. And then uh, for copyrighted, pwede, paano po ba yun? So eventually, if this kind of materials will be let's say, a property of the school, depende sa anong, paano nga set up ninyo with the school. Or pwede, if you have, like, logo, or just to make sure that it's yours, paano ba yung mapapatent siya? <laughs> na it's, it's your Saka, work. Oh. Yes. Tsaka isa pa, sir, I think yung sa copyright issues, like, kasi di ba when we, when we create hyperlinks, it usually leads to yung videos that are not yours, usually. So, Siguro para to avoid uh, copyright issues, maganda ng now talaga is the time, now na, to create our own content. Yes. No? So even uh, the videos that you that you create hyperlinks to, maganda yes. kung sa'yo, galing sa'yo. And that's a very good way to avoid yung copyright issues. Oh, that, uh, that's true, no? Um, I think it's about time already that our teachers create their own content. Kasi sa totoo mm -hmm. lang po, um, yung pag-create ng content, no, matagal na itong ginagawa ng ibang mga teachers in different yes. countries that they really mm -hmm. have their own um, touch. They have their own video. Mm -hmm. Pwedeng publicly mm -hmm. share or maybe privately for collection lang for the students. You can do that. But um, this is not new already, yung creating content. Mm -hmm. Oo, lalo mm -hmm. na yung mga videos. Yes. Pero talaga ngayon, mas ano siya, mas, uh, mas kailangan na. Because mm -hmm. it's a, the way to personalize more your, your lessons uh, yes. and make it yours, original. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, yun. So, dapat lakasan na natin ang loob natin. Yes, na opo. Na gumawa na sa rinin natin yung video. Uh, <laughs> get over, get hmm. over the awkwardness of seeing your face or hearing your yes. voice. No, the, on a video. Yeah, and then the other one also is that uh, if you can also convince your colleagues within your mm -hmm. school na to, to mm -hmm. develop this kind of programs to strengthen, mm -hmm. uh, it, this is not just about uh, dati, no, kapag may mga certification, uh, parang uso-uso siya eh. Parang, ah, mm -hmm. sige, we do it because it's, it's in. But uh, mm -hmm. after a few months, wala na. But uh, yes. right now, what we really have to um, tell our colleagues and uh, hopefully school leaders that uh, we develop the culture of innovation inside the school, that we support mm -hmm. one another, teachers, um, teki man o hindi. Ayan po. Yes. Season man o baguhan. So, mm -hmm. mm -mm. talagang ano. Maganda yan, sir. Maganda yan. To ensure the sustainability, no? Yes, the sustainability. Of the program. Mm -hmm. Yes. In that way, kahit ano mangyari, handa ang teachers. Ano man yan, um, digital or traditional, whatever, mm -hmm. um, yun po. Talagang ano, yes. we have to be flexible. <laughs> yes, that's uh, true, sir. Mm -hmm. Ayan po, um, may mga slides pa tayo, Ms. June. On Tingnan ko, sir. Ito. Ayan, yan na lang pala. Okay. Um, again, if you, kung, kung medyo nabitin po kayo sa ating mga, sa ating webinar tonight, you can review some of the webinars in this channel. It's Look Beyond the Classroom. We have themed videos kung gusto nyo pong uh, matutunan or magkaroon ng info about G Suite for Education ng Mabilisan, about some mm -hmm. tips and tricks on other tools, suggested applications, third-party add-ons. You can just check this channel you can like subscribe and you can also share it with your colleagues to help them um yan po again maraming salamat for all the people na nanood abangan nyo po ang aming mga webinars ang aming videos tonight i will be uploading another an, a new video a team video ayan so again maraming salamat po miss june any ano po words for for the audience for the participants. Ako, I'd just like to well 
first of all, I'd like to thank those who <laughs> those who participated in the webinar, yung nagtagang nakinig sa atin, no, sir. And uh, I'd also like to to thank you, kasi for giving me Hi. this opportunity. This is my first time to to be in a webinar, and syempre kinakabahan ako, but uh, as I kept telling you, basta nandiyan ka, sir, yun, okay lang. <laughs> so, it's a new experience, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. You're welcome. <laughs> and for the other teachers, if you want to join us, um, if you want to join us, message lang po kami. We can also join the community. Nalimutan ko banggitin, no? So, we have a community <laughs> called Google Educator Groups. Ayan, yung GEG. So, it's GEG. We're located in the south area of Manila. So, South Manila. So, para niya kay Las Pinas and Muntinlupa. If you want to um, join, know more about our events, you can just... Um, Go to the the links. Ayan po. So may kita nyo po yan. So it's nandyan na po. You can screenshot if you want. And then there's another message. I think. Uh, I think it's from John Paul Laurio. Laurio. I think mm -hmm. he went to pwede nyo kami bigyan ng copy ng inyong presentation slides. Ah. Uh, okay, let's say. Yes, Ikaw. <laughs> we, we can we can give you a copy of the slide presentations tonight. As uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow na, tomorrow na rin. Kasabay nung um, link for the website so that you can also review. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want to go back to this video, then you can still watch them, it. And then, how can we follow Miss June? Ayan, so Miss June. Ay, ay, wala po. Wala pa uh, po. I will tell you kung meron na po akong channel. <laughs> yes, um, soon Miss June will have her own channel and uh, uh -huh. uh, a separate uh YouTube show. Ay, Ay <laughs> wow, show. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, <laughs> definitely this will not this will not be the the last time that Miss June will be appearing in um the GG <laughs> South Manila event. So tuloy-tuloy lang po ito. Abangan lang po ninyo. Marami po tayong mga teachers din na lalabas, mga all-star teachers who are very wow. passionate, uh, very passionate uh, um yes. And generous in sharing their expertise. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Ayan. With that, thank you very much. Hindi na po namin uh, uubusin ang inyong oras. Alam ko, medyo lumalalit <laughs> na agabi at baka may pasok pa po tayo for um, mm -hmm. yung mga public school teachers. Start na ng yes. pasok. And then for, mm -hmm. for other private schools. Again, maraming salamat mm -hmm. po. This is uh, Adrian Lucruz. And, and this Miss June Maog. Ayan. So saying good night and thank you very good much. Good night and thank you. Maraming Stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe, everyone. Good night. <laughs>